Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. I think this is episode number 20 now, so this is uh, getting quite lengthy in uh, the amount of time that we've been doing it so far, but I'm really, really enjoying uh, putting this series out for you guys. And you guys seem to be really enjoying it as well. There's plenty of likes, plenty of comments, plenty of views, plenty of feedback. It's been absolutely fantastic, so long may that continue. This is going up on Thursday night for you, so of course there will have been an AC Milan career mode video earlier on today, and if you missed the, uh, the earlier episode of this in the week which was Tuesday night I know a lot of you will have been watching the uh, the Champions League football uh, I know I certainly was with Chelsea being PSG etc so if you missed the previous episode, there's going to be a link in the bottom left-hand side of your screen as an annotation to take you to that video. Or, of course, feel free to check the channel page and all the playlists so uh, you don't miss out on anything that happens in this series. Because, of course, we've progressed up now to a 75 overall. We're doing very, very well indeed. We were able to pick up a hat-trick in last uh, Tuesday's episode or in Tuesday's episode. And today we've got two games against Bradford and MK Dons. We're doing very, very well in the league. As you'll be able to see, we're currently sat second with a game in hand still on the teams around us. But MK Dons are sat in fifth, so it's not going to be the easiest of games with the Bradford are sat mid-table. So let's stop waffling on. Let's get into the game. See if we can pick up three points against Bradford City at home. Here's McGinn on the outside. It's a lovely whip. Oh God, he's just dove and headbutted the goalkeeper in the shins. You can't book him for that ref. That was absolutely epic. Oh, picking up a yellow card. Chibangu gave absolutely everything to get on the end of that. I apologise if that outburst was a little bit loud for headphone users, but that was amazing. He's just shoved his hand right up his ass as well, and the goalkeeper fell over. Oh, what a calamity! <laughs> that was amazing. Done well to win that flick on there, Billy. We could be in here. It's McGinn in behind. Oh, is he going to be able to get the ball in from there? He's tried the cross. Going to pick up a corner in first half stoppage time. This is probably going to be only the second highlight that you've seen, considering to, up to now absolutely nothing has happened apart from Chibangu getting fisted by the goalkeeper. But up goes uh, your man. There's Chibangu again with a header. Oh, how has that not gone in? I have no idea what actually just happened. Can we win the ball back? We can. I'm going to try and... I can't get a shot away. I thought your man at the back post was actually offside, so I wasn't going to commentate, I wasn't going to react. Then somehow he's managed to get the angle, not only to get it on target, but a cross goal and off the inside of the far post as well. Jeeps, and then across the line and clear. So we stay at 0-0 as we go in at half-time. And despite not having anything to do for the entire first half, we're still disappointed not to be 1-0 up. But, uh, oh... Such a great lunge. That's so un unlucky that it's not gone in. Well, we'll push it in the second half. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll have a little bit more luck in the see uh, in the next 45. I'll play me down the line. He's done well there, McGinn. I'm gonna cut inside. Ah, oh, that's poor from me. Really poor from me. It's been a poor game all round, to be completely honest. There's only 20 minutes left, and this will probably be the first highlight that you've seen in uh, in the entire of the second half as well but Jose Baxter's coming on the referees the referees the uh, the manager's favorite substitution again here's Chibangu I'm going to tell him to give it a whack he has given it a whack draws a great save out the goalkeeper that's the first worthwhile chance other than that uh, close shave of the uh, the post in the first half ball's coming in it's coming our way I'm really too sure how I'm supposed to get to that to be completely honest but loose from the defender he could break here if Billy can get that under control and play me he can Take it, you stride and go. Oh, oh strokes for pace. Step over, cutting side. Come on. Can we beat our league objective? We can. Into the back of the net. 25th goal of our career, apparently. And that is actually going to give us the uh, the league objective for the amount of goals. Bradford, uh, not Bradford City. We're playing against Bradford City. The amount of goals that the Sheffield United board and manager wanted from us in this first season on loan. We've actually bought on Brig Big Jeff for Billy Painter there, even though Painter just got the assist for sending us through. This has been the dullest of games, but... Regardless of that, we've uh, we've pounced on the one opportunity that we've got, and we're one 0 up. And we could be making it two here if Big Jeff can get in, but his touch isn't the best. Although the goalkeeper hasn't put in the best of clearances, maybe we could keep the pressure up, make them make a mistake. But regardless of what's going to happen next, we are in fact one 0 up. Looking like we're probably going to take three points because Bradford haven't really threatened at all in the entirety of the game, and uh, that's our league objective for that as well. So assists and goals now complete. Hansen down the left-hand side. They've got a chance to get themselves back in it late on here, but Dominguez gleefully clutches the ball to his chest. He's not been the best of goalkeepers this year, to be completely honest, Dominguez, and this wasn't the best of games, but we are going to come out with three points and a goal for ourselves. That was really, really boring to uh, to play. I'm not sure. Well, it most definitely is 
going to be boring to watch, but hopefully the second game can be better against MK Dons. As you can see, we did pick up the goal 100% uh, accuracy as well with two shots going on target. But a 91% pass completion rate as well is uh, pleasing. As you can see, Bradford City, absolutely no chances whatsoever. Let's have a look and see how the teams around us got on. MK Dons won. Uh, where are Wolves? Wolves won 4 1. Big win for them. So they're still going to stay top of the league. But as you can see on the, uh, the little graphic here, we have now completed our, uh, our goal expectation as well as the assist expectation. And uh, fantastic to have done it in January as well. So we've still got three months still to go for this season to, uh, to hopefully maintain our uh, goal to shot conversion percentage of 24 above the 20% threshold. And uh, just uh, we just need a little bit of an improvement in our average league match rating. But the, uh, the way we've been playing so far and the fact that we are now 75 rated and still playing in League One, it's going to be a uh, not an easy end to this season, but it's not going to be quite as hard because we've progressed quite quite well as a professional throughout this first season and uh, it's going to be a little bit easier not because the difficulty isn't hard enough just because the uh, the teams we're playing against and the team we're playing in isn't as good as uh, our own rating now you know uh, gives the impression of so uh, hopefully we can uh, maintain the run of form we're on as a team and individually and uh, pick up automatic promotion at least a, one at least a playoff spot from here with Sheffield United and then uh, who knows what will happen in uh, in the summer maybe we'll get uh, put into the Chelsea first team. Maybe we'll get a permanent transfer or uh, a loan abroad or to a championship side or maybe even a Premier League side. Who knows? That's still to come. It's still a little ways down the road. But let's jump into this game against MK Dons and uh, hopefully we can come out with a win. I'll, uh, I'll just pause for a little bit and see if we can have a look at the league table to, uh, to see what the situation is there. I think we've still got a game in hand and we should do and we do. And uh, we're now three points clear of Coventry. So if we win our game in hand, we'll go six points clear of Cov and be well inside that automatic promotion spot. So uh, we've got to keep up our winning run, though. So fingers crossed we can do that in this one. He's going to come inside to me. He is. Take it round, that man. Although it's a nice diving challenge to, uh, to put me off. He's done well there, actually. Alan Smith. Oh, I forgot Alan Smith was at MK Dons. The, uh, the old, the ex-Leeds and Man United, Alan Smith. Although he's kind of dropped back from his uh, normal or his uh, old striking role. A bit, uh, bit old and slow to play that role now. I think he's a holding midfielder, but nice to play against a player of that calibre. He's found us. He's made another run, and I'll play him in behind as well. This could be, uh, this could be quite promising if we can get a ball in he can. Big Jeff's up. We're up. Oh, they're going to clear it. That was a good chance, although Scoogle's got in. I'm reliably informed it's Scoogle and not Scowgle, though. I do apologise for <laughs> pronouncing that wrong for, like, 19 episodes. But uh, apparently it's Scoogle, not Scowgle. I am a little bit of a stickler for uh, getting my pronunciations right, so I'm pleased that, uh, that uh, my friend Byron pointed that out to me. <laughs> it's a little bit more of the, uh, the OCD kicking in. Doyle, chance for a counter-attack. I'm going to try and play in Big Jeff as a decent th lob through ball. Jeff's there. He's taken it around the goalkeeper. Oh, and he's put it wide. Big Jeff with a glorious opportunity to put us in front. Did really well to uh, to get there and take it round the keeps. Just couldn't quite find the angle. Maybe, yeah, the goalkeeper just narrowed it just enough. Maybe he was too concerned about getting absolutely clobbered to uh, to actually get the shot on target. That's annoying. We could be 1-0 up here. Reeves beats the offside trap. Whips the cross in. Uh, somehow we're going to get it away. But only as far as Stephen Gleeson plays in. Isaiah McLeod could get the ball back they're going to get a shot in great save by long and away we go come on please win that I found myself out on the touchline somehow and Big Jeff's going to find me and he's made a run we could play a lob through ball and get him in behind again if he'd actually react to the fact that I passed him the ball rather than just standing there like a lump and looking at it and we've picked up a free kick there's two of them lie down on the floor in a heap there goes the half-time whistle then. We're going in at the half at 0-0 again, similar to uh, the last game. But this one's been a little bit more exciting. A few more uh, a few more goal-mouth chances and that clear-cut chance for, uh, for Big Jeff is kind of the main one. Really uh, disappointed that we weren't able to take the lead there. But positive signs for the next 45 minutes. And fingers crossed we can come out with uh, a second win. Oh, I was so close as well. Just, just a matter of six or seven inches wide. Oh, well, let's push into the second half. Get ourselves in front, shall we? They've got a chance to break on us here. Reeves has got McLeod making a run in front of him. He's played the ball through. Is that Maguire? Can he get there first? He can do. Almost loses it. That was dodgy. Come on, boys. Let's get this clear, shall we? Bulldog into Alan Smith. It's not. It's Reeves, but still wide of the target. In fact, he may have been offside, and he was. Only just, but 
That was a clear opportunity, regardless of the fact he was offside, he should have put it in the back of the net. So let off for us. Give me the ball. Right, play me. Jeff, play me. We're in. Uh, cross goal. Oh, deflection. Curve's gone up one. It was her 80th shot on target. That was a chance. Right, corner ball. Whip it in. Put it on my head, please. It's not coming my way. We have got a man on the end of it, and it's straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, I should have put that chance away. Oh, it's found us. Can we get a turn? We can. Can we get a shot? We can, and it's another good save by the goalkeeper. Let's have another corner then, shall we? See if we can actually get something from this one. Look, look at that. There's a strange substitution. Jose Baxter coming on halfway through a game. Oh, we missed the header. And he... I don't know what was going on there. And they got the chance to break on us. Bulldogs going to play a 1-2 with McLeod, perhaps. They got a man over this far side. It's Hall. We've done well to win it back. Right, Porter, go. He's kept it in well and he's returned it to us. He's done really well to keep... Oh, why have you shot, you penis? It's not how I want this episode to end with a defeat, although they're picking up a corner in the 90th minute. Nerves are building. Not good. Let's get this out, boys. I want to drop into the box to try and help clear it if I can. It's gone over my head. Get rid. We might be able to catch... Oh, show some heart and determination. Get to the ball first. Luke Chadwick into Alan Smith. Call in second man press. Don't let them shoot. Don't let them shoot. I don't want them to steal all three points. And there goes the final whistle. They're not going to steal all three points, but they are going to have one point. The shares are split. It's nil nil in this one. More goal. Pff, I'll start that again. More goal opportunities in this game, but none were actually taken, despite having two or three really good ones. That one from Jeff. One from ourselves in the second half. Apparently, we had three shots on target total. Did really well, but not quite able to uh, to pick up the win that we wanted but nonetheless four points from this episode isn't bad that's still maintaining our uh, our undefeated run and we should still be quite decent at the top of the table as Wolves win 4-1 again oh did I just see West Ham in the FA Cup coming up that is a big game as Lucas pulls Rooney in the top of the uh, top of the screen uh, oh, I've gone too far. I think I went on again. I didn't. Never mind. Let's have a look. Sheffield United, second in the table. One point clear now of Coventry. That draw against MK Dons has cost us our advantage. So we definitely need to pick up a victory in our game in hand to make sure that we stay out of reach in this second uh, in this second automatic promotion spot. But 63 points so far from 30 games is really good, actually. We've got 16 league games to go. But the next one coming up is going to be that game against West Ham as you can see in the FA Cup after de after deadline day although nothing's going to be done on our part because we can't move considering we're on loan but let's have a look see how we're getting on stat wise wow sprint speed up to 84 acceleration of 81 balance 81 and stamina 84 are three green stats finishing up well uh, or doing well up four as is dribbling and ball control We've got quite a few that have gone up five six seven and eight as well so we're progressing nicely we're up seven overall at uh, 75 and uh, valued at 2.6 million now so we're doing really well form is excellent as expected when uh, you're a player of this caliber in league one you uh, you really do expect to be uh, scoring goals uh, every single week as you can see again it gave me the accomplishment for 25 goals didn't it but uh, according to this we've only scored 24 but i'll take it that's uh, going to be the end of the episode guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb like i say feel free to check the channel page for any ac milan career mode or my player you may have missed during the week i uh, hope you're enjoying your easter holidays and uh, i will see you tomorrow with some more ac milan career mode